Hello again. This is the old principal. We're studying English. And today's lesson is number 100. Paco. Okay, Paco is the name of a person. Okay, so before we get going, we better ask Mrs. Ash to read the story. Okay, come on and read the story. You've heard me tell this story many, many times, so now I'm going to listen to see how you tell the story. Okay. Paco, the older man, was angry. Yeah, Dad. Although the clock read 12.25, Paco was still in bed. You were out late again last night. Father's voice had a razor-thin edge to it. Didn't I tell you that you had to be in by 10? I can stay out as long as I want. Paco spat out the words, I'm 18, you know. I know. The color red began to creep up the older man's neck and before long had washed over his face. But you know the rules. Rules. Paco jumped out of bed and faced his father. I don't need your rules. Paco! Dad was shouting now. If you can't obey the rules of this house, then you'd better find some place else to live. I've had it with you. But Dad, shouted Paco, I'm a man. I'll live my own life the way I want to. Stop pushing me around. Get out, the father screamed. I don't want to ever see your face again. Paco was in tears as he stuffed his clothes into a cloth bag, hung it over his shoulder, and stepped out into the night. He had no place to go. Weeks passed, and Dad began to have second thoughts. He loved Paco and felt guilty for throwing him out. <laughs> I, I've got to find him, he moaned. The father began to look for Paco. He asked people on the street. He inquired at police stations. He scanned the crowds in several towns. How can I find him? The man's heart was breaking. Then he thought of a plan. I'll put an advertisement in the largest newspaper in the city. The ad said, Dear Paco, Meet me in front of this newspaper office at noon on Saturday. All is forgiven. I love you, your father. On Saturday, 800 Pacos came, all looking for forgiveness and love from their fathers. Wow. That's an interesting story. You've heard me tell it many, many times. Yes. Okay, thank you. Man alive, you had a lot of energy. Woo! Okay. Well, here we go. Let's see if I can manufacture a little energy here. Okay, this is number 100. Paco. The older man was angry. Maybe I can go without this, at least for the moment. So, Paco is the name of a person, and the older man is the father. Now, here's what Paco says. Yeah, Dad. Yeah is another way of saying yes. <clears throat> but it usually is kind of, yeah. Okay? It It isn't a crisp Yes. No. Okay? Okay, yeah, Dad. Although the clock read 1225. Now, is that in the daytime or at nighttime? Of course, it's daytime. Why is it daytime? Because Paco was still in bed. Have you ever slept in? 
slept in, meaning to stay in bed until 12, 25 in the morning. As far as I know, I have never, ever done that. I'm too much of a, what do you say, type A personality. I'm always pushing, pushing. I never am that tired. Even if I'm tired, I still get out of bed uh, early. Says, yeah, Dad, although the clock read, just a take a shizhong, uh, read, okay, 1225, Paco was still in bed. Go ahead. <clears throat> You were out late last night. Okay? You were out late. That means uh, you stayed away from home too late. Okay? That means you returned home late last night. Okay? Dad's voice had a razor-thin edge. Now we use this to explain uh, anger. And we use this to, to describe the tone of voice. Okay? Dad's voice had a razor thin edge. Okay. Well, a razor. Do you know what a razor is? Ha. Not now, but a long time ago, when I was a little boy, a razor is yi pian kai gua hu zi. Gua hu zi. And so yi pian yi pian. But the edge Tadabian, okay, so Jian Li. We say razor edge. Very sharp. We could even say a knife. Yo Daozi Shi a Daozi Yo Iga razor edge. But when your voice Dang Ni the Sung Yin Shi Yo Razor Edge Woo Na Jika Kanding Su Sung Ji Razor edge. Did that sound like I had a razor edge? Oh, well, I'm not sure that I can do that. But uh, to it, didn't I tell you that you had to be in by 10 o'clock? So uh, the father had said, be in. That means uh, to be in means to be back home by 10 o'clock in the evening. Go ahead. Now here's the son. Paco is now saying what he wants. Okay. I can stay out as late as I want. Okay. So he says, I don't have to return home when you tell me to. I can stay out as long as I want. It's my business. Okay? Paco spat out the word. Okay? I can stay out as late as I want. Does that sound like I'm spitting out my voices? Words? Okay? I'm 18. Ya no. Ya no. Should be, you know, but sometimes when we are angry, the English is not always so proper. Okay, uh, going on. I know. Okay, this is the father. I know. Now, here's an interesting sentence. The color of red began to creep up the older man's neck. Okay, I don't know if you've noticed this, uh, but it, uh, we notice it in America. The color of red, okay, right? Okay, so his neck is red, 
and it began to creep, creep, man, man, the creep, just a, you begin to pa, but it gives the idea of slope, creep up, okay, the older man's neck, the galaren, the boards, so the color, see the color coming up. The color is coming up, coloring up. And before long, Bujo, what? It had washed his face. Over his face. Okay, washed over his face simply means that the red had come up, 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 until his face was red. Red face, okay? But the father continues, but you know the rule. You know the rule. So, or the so, so, the father had set out some rules and Paco was not keeping the rules. Oh, but they have not finished their argument. I must stop here and say, that when a person gets angry, you cannot make friends, okay? In other words, when you get angry, it will for sure, 肯定会产生一些仇敌. But they didn't think about this at the time. So going on, Rules! He yelled. Paco jumped out of bed. Okay? And faced his father. I can, I can just imagine him. And he's shaking. And the father is shaking. They are really, really mad. I don't need your rule. Woo! I'm glad I wasn't there. Going on. Paco! Dad was shouting now. Maybe he should have said at the top of his voice. If you can't obey the rules, you can't obey the rules of this house, then you better find somewhere else to live. I've had it with you. Woo. Ah, oh, my word. Hey, there are a lot of people in the world that speak like that. Sadly, sadly, Hanangu. Many people are like that. Dad was shouting now, if you cannot obey the rules, of this house, then you better, you better, you had better, you find some place else to live. Find some other place to live. I've had it with you. I've had it with you simply means I've had it with you. Going on. But Dad shouted. See, they're still shouting. But Dad, okay, I'm a man. I will live my own life the way I want to. Stop pushing me around. See, they're shouting at each other. Shouting, shouting, shouting at each other. Uh, okay. I'm a man. I'll live my life the way I want to. 我想怎么样过生活? 我就是要, 
那样做生活。Stop pushing me around. 不要干涉我，不要干涉我。Okay, to push somebody around, 把我的推来推去。Of course, 字面上应该是推来推去 ，but Uh, Chinese maybe can say, "Me is better to control somebody else." Going on, but the father is not finished. Get out! The father screamed, "I don't want to see you ever again. I don't want to see you ever again. I don't want to see your face." Again, ever. What does that mean? It just simply means he said, "This is the end. You do your thing. I don't want. 我不要再见到你的面 So sad. So sad. I am sorry, but this happens many, many places around the world. Going on. Paco was in tears. Now, Paco, the strong boy of eighteen, now is in tears. Paco, 现在流眼泪 As he stuffed his clothes, 把衣服塞进 okay, a cloth bag, 布的袋子 He hung it over his shoulders, 放在他的肩头上 and stepped out into the night. Stepped out into the night. He stepped out into the night. That means it was dark outside. It was dark. And he stepped out into the night. He had no place to go. He had no place to go. You say he. Maybe you could say he was homeless. Ah, 无家可归 Homeless. At this point, he was homeless. Going on. Weeks passed. 过了好几个星期 and the father began to have second thoughts. What does it mean to have second thoughts? It means to 改变主意 to change your mind. 改变你的主意 He loved Paco. 他是爱上他的儿子 Paco. He loved Paco, and he felt guilty. Do you know what it means to feel guilty? Ah,、uh, 他心里有一点的内疚感 Okay, he felt bad. He was hurting inside, 心疼 He knew that he had done something wrong. 他知道他的态度是错的 How many people are like that when they become angry, and then they want to come back? 但是你发怒发脾气 So, okay. He loved Paco and felt guilty for throwing him out. In this case, throwing doesn't mean run deal. It just means 赶他走，赶他走 I've got to go find him. 我必须去找他。我必须去找他。Going on, the father began to look. 他就开始寻找，寻找啊、uh, p 
Paco, Tada Arza Paco. He asked people in the street, okay, Tazai Jia Shang, Jian Dao Ren. He asked, so the, he asked if the, he, they had seen his son. He inquired. That means he went to the police station, Jing Cha Ju, yes, Chu Zhao Ta, to inquire, is to ask about. To inquire means to ask about his son at the police stations. Going on. He scanned the crowds in several towns. Ta Chu. Okay, and scanned the crowds. What does scanning mean? That means he's looking over the crowd. Sometimes scan means a kind of But in this case, he's looking over the crowds. Crowds means like a Da Jun Ren, Han Doren, and he's looking at all of these people. What is he looking for? The man's heart. His heart. He had a breaking heart. Going on. Then he thought of a plan. I will put an advertisement in the largest newspaper in town. Put an advertisement. Put an advertisement in the newspaper. Going on. The ad said, now this is advertisement. When you when you see the word ad, you mean advertisement. This is a guangao. He said, Dear Paco, Chinaida Paco. Okay, dear Paco, meet me in front of this newspaper office. Meet me in front of this newspaper office at noon on Saturday. But he added one more words or two more sentences, very short. All is forgiven. All is forgiven. I love you. Okay, going on. On Saturday, Xing Chi Liu, Zhong Wu, Kanding Shi Zhong Wu. Look at this. Eight hundred Pacos came. Yo Pa Baiga Paco. Lai all were looking for forgiveness and love from the Do Shu Xin Zhao Tamanda Yao De Dao Taman Baba Da Kwan Shu Yi Okay, how can we finish this story up? Maybe Mrs. Ash, 
uh, you need to come along miters I don't need this okay we need to hear your nice soft voice <laughs> okay so what have you been thinking about this what story or what lesson do you think people could or should learn from this be careful of your words because you might have second thoughts later. Okay. Yao Xiao Xin Ni So So the Hua Manda Manda Tiga Yi Ho Ni Jo Hui Ho Hui Tiga Hui Hui Ho Hui. Yes. Okay. So when the words we speak, you cannot bring them back. That's right. You see, you, your words go out and that's too late. It's too late. So, what 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 should the father have done in there? I mean, he was absolutely upset. Now, granted, both the father and the son had problems. Mm -hmm. Both the father and the son had problems. Yeah. So, how do you solve this where both the father and the son have problems? Well, I think for one thing, both of them should have taken some time to think it over by themselves and uh, kind of cool down. Okay, so the more they spoke, the more they argued, then the, the voice got higher and higher and higher until they were shouting at each other. Yes. So what you're saying is that when you get upset, then cool it off, walk away, do something else, mm -hmm. and let the mm -hmm. oh, We run out of time. Well, anyway, we better share with them that the old email, I mean the email address, <laughs> the old principal at gmail.com, and then you could go to our website. Our website is www.theoldprincipal.org. Hey, join us next time, and I promise I won't shout. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Bye.